Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I have a review for you of the 2014 Flux Mopeds EM1 electric scooter. This is a moped class vehicle, so think of this as the electric equivalent of a 50cc scooter. Um, I was able to take this out for an extended test drive, got to uh, take it on some longer trips, got to recharge the batteries, got to play around with it to get uh, a much better feel than simply going out for a little ride around the block from the dealership. So let's take a look at uh, all the components and what makes this thing go. So here's the electric motor. It's a hub motor. It's 1500 watts or about two horsepower, which to uh, people from the gasoline world would think that would be very underpowered, but it's actually, it's pretty good. It zips you right along. Um, I've got the scooter powered up just so you can hear what that sounds like. That's it, that's as loud as the thing is. And when you're zipping along, uh, it, it's that. There's no chain, no chain noise. Uh, operation is very, very simple. You've got your typical scooter control, so you got brakes on both sides, twist throttle here, speedometer, and then fuel gauge, um, you know, battery state of charge, high, low. Um, works nice, nice and simple. All you do, twist the key to the on position, and the battery gauge goes up. Uh, you know it's on. You wait just a moment um, for the uh, high pedal disable, and then twist the throttle, and off you go. That's it. On the front, it does have a small storage compartment. It's got a glove box down here. And then, of course, the battery is under the seat. So to get at that, we just turn the key the other way, pop the seat. And down here, this is pretty cool. Um, this scooter comes with a single battery pack, but as an option, you can add a secondary battery pack. Uh, and it's removable, and it uses standard connectors. Uh, so this is a pretty cool concept. Let's say you live in an apartment or a dorm or someplace you don't have a garage. So where are you going to plug in? Flip that breaker off, pull up on the battery connection, pull this out. That battery weighs a little over 20 pounds. It's, it's hefty. It's not heavy. Um, it's easy enough for one person to lift and carry. Um, and then you can take it inside. You can recharge it in your living room, or your kitchen, or while you're at work or whatever. Um, and that one battery is still powerful enough to get you 20 or 25 miles. And if you have two of the batteries, you double that. Then when you're done charging, you just uh, put it in and then rehook the uh, battery connector here, flip it on, put the seat down and turn the scooter on. The overall look of the scooter is pretty nice. It's, um, you know, it's similar to most modern 50cc gas scooters, uh, steel frame, nice looking plastic body. Um, they're available in a couple different colors now. This is the white. They're also available in red and blue, the blue being the original color, and then also a yellow and a silvery gray as sort of a, a premium color. Very straightforward. This one does not have the helmet box mounted on the back. Um, that's kind of nice to have for a little bit extra cargo room. Otherwise, you can always wear a backpack. The other thing that I found is on a scooter, you kind of have enough room between your, your feet. I just took a tote bag. I looped the, uh, uh, the handles of the tote bag over the glove box and closed that, and that worked great for extra storage as well. Okay, now let's take a look at charging the scooter. Now, charging is uh, part of what I think is a really nice system on this scooter. Um, I'm just charging on my front porch for convenience because I got good light and space here. But uh, normally what you would do is you can charge this battery in your house, in your apartment, in your dorm, at your work. Uh, you don't have to find an outdoor electric outlet. You don't have to find a J1772 charging station. This is an external charger. It's 5 amp. All you have to do is take it, plug it into the battery, plug it into the wall, and flip it on. Now the maximum I've seen this charger draw is 400 watts, which is kind of cool because I happen to have a 400 watt solar panel at my house, which means that uh, basically this is a solar powered scooter. Now, of course, you don't have to pull the battery out of the scooter uh, if you have a, a garage someplace secure to park the scooter where you've got electricity. Um, all you have to do in that case is just unplug that connector um, and then plug the charger straight into the battery with it still in the scooter. 
So here's what the scooter looks like with the dual battery packs installed. Um, it's the exact same thing except you have the two electrical connections instead of the one and you get double the range out of this. Now just behind the batteries here, uh, that's the motor controller down there. Uh, the motor controller is upgraded for the 2014. Uh, it's, it's tweakable if you don't like the way the throttle ramp is, for example. I believe you can get that uh, adjusted at the dealership to your preference. It also has regenerative braking. The previous model had plug braking only, but this one has true regen. So overall, I gotta say, I really like this vehicle. Um, primarily, really super quiet really super smooth uh, with the hub motor there's no chain noise anything like that on my electric motorcycle it's got a chain and you know it sounds like a cordless drill when i ride it, it just goes Vzz! because of the the chain and the sprocket with the hub motor on here uh none of that um also takeoff is very smooth on this uh i've ridden some vehicles that are uh, brushless dc and right when you take off you get a little bit of a kind of a sort of a vibrating coggy sort of a feeling this does not have that um, also, this has an upgraded battery pack. It's 74 volts uh, as compared to the previous version of this vehicle with 60 volts. Um, I'm also told that battery pack's good for 10,000 miles, which is a heck of a lot of miles for a scooter. Um, if there's anything that I didn't like about this scooter, it's really just things that, um, that I don't like about uh, a typical 50cc gas scooter. That is, um, by law, it's rated at uh, 30 miles per hour. Um, now, now, moped laws do vary a little bit from state to state and, and one area to another, so check how it is by you. Um, also, there are some advantages though. For example, you can park a moped at a bike parking, uh, a bike rack. I did that over at the library. We have a very tight parking over there, so I just parked at the bike rack. It was kind of cool. Uh, I found that driving the scooter in city traffic is just great. Um, it, it has good acceleration, very smooth, very quiet, can keep up with city traffic, no problem. Uh, actually, at one point I was uh, behind a motorcycle and it, it kind of sucked because uh, he was loud and smelly and everything that uh, a nice clean vehicle like this isn't. Um, also, that guy had to ride his clutch the whole time and everything else. Uh, you don't have any of that on a scooter like this. Another thing very likable about this vehicle is the price point. Uh, the list on this is $2,400, uh, and they still have the previous model available, which is only two grand. Uh, you know, it took me $2,000 an entire summer of blood, sweat, and tears to build my own electric motorcycle. So to be able to just uh, run out and buy one for the same price turnkey is pretty cool. Um, and then of course there's also options. So if you wanna be able to accessorize your scooter and customize it and everything like that, you certainly can. So pros on this vehicle. It's very simple, uh, very easy to operate, very clean, very quiet, very smooth acceleration. Uh, you don't need a motorcycle license to operate it. Um, the removable battery pack system and external charger means you can literally charge up your scooter anywhere. And because it's electric, if you have access, you can do solar charging or whatever other renewable energy source you want it to be. Uh, in terms of cons, there's very few. They're really just the ones associated with the size and shape vehicle, like any 50cc gas scooter. You're limited by law to that 30 mile an hour top speed. Somewhat limited storage. That can be fixed with a, a milk crate on the back or a backpack, something along those lines. Um, but overall, it's really a great vehicle. I've had a lot of fun uh, getting to take it out. So thanks to Flux Mopeds for letting me borrow this for the weekend and put it through its paces. But really, it's a, it's a great vehicle. And uh, if you get a chance, you should go test drive one. Uh, check it out. It's a lot of fun. See you next time.